are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Now, this video, as you can see, is one I thought I would never ever have to do on. This is just too weird. Um, what I'm about to show you is I freaked out, basically, basically freaked out because I was like, oh, the device I'm using I've not had for just over a year and I've fucked it up, basically. I didn't know it was a thing. I mean, Apple, why would you want someone to do this? Why, Apple, why would you let someone do this? I'm really, really baffled in why it's even a thing on the iPad. Like, so here I'm going to show you exactly what happened and how you fix it. I was really not impressed, put it that way, I must have gone pale at one point. I know I was just staring at the screen in just confusion and then it turned to fear and then it was like frustration. I just could not understand it, could not understand it and still to this day I still don't understand what the hell Apple are doing but there you go, I'm going to help you basically sort it out. So, before we get into this, I don't know what Apple are playing at, it's still to this day I don't know why it's a thing, I don't know why it's a thing, but do help me out here, do go ahead and give this one a big like, comment below what your experiences, like I'm sure people have come across similar things and are thinking Apple is really uncalled for, like that wouldn't happen on any other device, just Apple just has to be Apple, doesn't it? They really have to confuse us and make us think that we broke it when we hadn't done anything. <laughs> so I was like, really not impressed. It's okay to laugh about it now, but in you, you're just really not <laughs> needing it, especially when you actually are in a rush or whatever. But there we go. So I'm gonna start waffling. Comment below what, what you've experienced and do go ahead and subscribe if you are new because if you don't subscribe you are going to miss out okay so i'll get straight into it show you what i was doing and then what pops up and what i did to fix it so here we go so all you need to do is obviously um open your ipad go to the split screen so here i was instantly tried to look some dessert pictures up, dessert recipes and I was actually looking at images and what happened I don't know, you tell me, like literally <laughs> I was not impressed, I was just typing away, I must have pressed something, clearly I've done something but I mean you try and get rid of this without kind of knowing or looking it up so in screen, I didn't do anything, I've just tried literally pinching the screen again, you pinching, <clears throat> oh my god you pinch in the screen, trying to get it back, but it's not working, it's just minimising it, so yeah, you want to be able to know how to get rid of this because you type in, you, you can still type in stuff, but it's not ideal because <clears throat> it's in the way, like some it will more or less, nine times out of ten, be in the middle of the screen and you can't see what you're doing. So easy, quickly to get rid of this, you see the icon here um, where <clears throat> the keypad is. In the bottom right hand corner. With that all you need to do is tap it. What we want to do is tap and hold it and then it will give you two options. Now why Apple thought of this I have no idea. Like, literally they just could not be simple and easy. They thought they'd put these little things that are hidden that no one knows about. So what we want to do uh, is slide your finger up and click on dock and merge and that will literally take you back to your standard settings on when you first bought the iPad. Now why they've done that I don't know, you could click, um, <clears throat> so say it was up here and it gives, you, it gives you the option to just merge two sections of the keyboard together if you wanted, you could have, if you really really want, you could have your keyboard up there but why would you want to do that? <laughs> so, 
click on dark and there you go. You can, you can have it either way. If it's something you feel that you didn't know existed and you found out and you want to keep it like that, keep it like that. But I'm just doing a quick tutorial to show you how the hell to get it back to normal. Because <laughs> Apple, I actually don't know what they're playing at with these little things. They, I keep coming across things more or less, not, not daily, but weekly if you want to. That's, that's how often I'm coming across things that shouldn't be happening with Apple. And something so simple like that. It's like the whole time I've had this, it's not happened. And a year and a bit down the line, it happens. And you think you broke it. Like, my faces were just, just really... <sighs> I, I went pale, I swear. I went pale. And then it was disbelief. And then it was kind of desperation slash fear. Like, I thought I broke it. And I was like, no way, with all these apps and everything that I've got started perfectly, I'm getting this sent off to get, <laughs> like, fixed. No way. So I have to do something about it, and that's what I did. <clears throat> but there we go. Uh, great apple for you. But there you go. Anyway. <clears throat> go ahead and do give this one a big like below. Oh, it's below, isn't it? Yeah, below. <laughs> Comment below. Your different things you've come across, your problems that you've had, that you've sorted out with Apple, and all these different things will add up. And we're all just um, having to put with Apple's silly little things. Like, why would you want your keyboard in the middle of the screen? I mean, really? <laughs> but anyway. And yeah, and if you're new, of course, subscribe. Yeah, so thank you very much for checking in this little tutorial. Plenty more tutorials will be coming your way. And I'm sure there'll be plenty, plenty more for us <laughs> to figure out. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I hope you have a nice day. And ciao for now.